Hello, so this is Zara Northover coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan and hello, how are you? I hope all is well and fabulous and um, I had an awesome word today. The reason why you see me dressed up still is because I just recently came in from church and I really wanted to share part of the word because it touched my heart today and it put my mind in a in a different place and I'm, I'm excited, excited about this week and just all the things that are going to be coming my way. So bust a move. That's what it was all about. Pastor Barbara Hill shut it down today in church. She talked about it's time to turn, it's time to bust a move. So what does that mean and where did this all come from? Deuteronomy 1 verse 6. It says, The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Sometimes we have put ourselves in situations where we're at a standstill. We're not moving forward. We're not moving backward. We're just there. We're just waiting. And ha oftentimes she was talking about how it's our heavy hearts or the fact that our life isn't right or we're, our relationships are off. And that ho allows us to just, it weighs us down. It keeps us back and it allows us to not move forward. Opportunities might present themselves and we don't take them because we don't think we're good enough. We don't believe in ourselves that we could actually get it done. Um, it seems too good to be true. Or we're just fearful. All those things hold you back and prevent you from actually moving from deliverance to your destiny. And um, what she was talking about with the whole 11 day journey taking 40 years. Not because, because of it was just long and people weren't capable of, t of making that journey, but it was because of the situations that were taking place, the arguments, the fights, the setbacks, the different things that take place. So sometimes we can't weigh ourselves down that we're not getting to where we're supposed to go fast enough because if we're supposed to get somewhere, we're going to get there, you know. But the thing I really wanted to touch base on was how she was saying that we need to believe in ourselves. You know, if we have Christ on the inside of us, if we have Jesus residing within us, then we know that we could get through everything and anything. We know that we could forgive those who have hurt us and move forward and move past it. We could grieve the deaths of lost ones and move forward and honor them and continue to embrace the, the, the new that, that is coming into our lives and um, be ready to just honor them along our journey because they may be gone but they're never forgotten. They may not be here physically but they are spiritually and that is just so beautiful knowing the promise of being able to see someone again especially when you're both believers in Christ. I know that I will see my dad again. I know that I will see Joe again. I know that I will see my brother Bobby who passed away also again one day and while at times I grieve, I'm sad that they're not here I really trust that they're going to be in my life again. I'm going to be in their life again. And it's, it's going to be a glorious moment. But until then, I will continue to honor them by living my life to the fullest and really trying to embrace God's purpose for my life. And that being said, I want to say again, I love you guys. I, I don't think we really share that term enough with people just telling them how proud of you they are, you are, or that you love them, you care for them, you miss them. Those words of endearment truly mean so much. So from me to you, I love you. And um, as she was really talking about, don't be afraid to bust a move. Get on your good foot and go after those opportunities that have prevented, presented themselves to you. If your boss walks in and says, I want you to apply for this job. You may not have, you may not think you have the skills or the education or the time, but if somebody recommends you to do something and you've prayed about it and obviously that opportunity presented itself, apply. The worst that can happen is you don't get it, so don't be afraid of rejection. You just got to take hold of the opportunity, pray about it, and keep moving in faith because if it's meant to be, it's going to be. And there are many times where the impossible doesn't seem possible, but that's the beauty of the God that we serve. All things are possible through Christ who strengthens us. And he lives within us, therefore we are more than conquerors. So that, in turn, that 
message is what I wanted to share with you today and send you off to have a beautiful week. Don't walk in fear, but walk in faith. Don't move in fear, but move in faith. And throughout everything, keep your eyes on Christ because everything we do is for His glory. I love you all. Keep moving in faith. Mwah. Have a great day and a great week.